Hey guys, this is Max from MHS Prod and today I will show you a few basics on Xpresso. This is a beginner tutorial on how I use Xpresso. I think this video can be useful because I find a lot of Xpresso um, tutorials and I was disgusted and I wait a long time before trying it. And I think it's just because I haven't seen one great tutorial that give me the idea of using Expresso. So today I will show you my basics, very few basics, that can lead you to learning more in-depth Expresso. I think it's going to be unique and I hope it's going to be useful for you. I will right now set my C4D for you in English because I'm French. So I think you will enjoy having uh, an English uh, software. I will just close it and reopen it. So I'm from MHS Prod. You can subscribe to work on Instagram. And I'm also the admin and founder of Motion Designers Community, which is a uh, community uh, sharing content making tutorials on youtube french and english content having a facebook group uh, that you can join right now and we also do physical events the first happened in france but we hope to make something great uh, around the world really soon so I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Feel free to let a thumb up and a nice comment and enjoy this video. We will just learn a few Expresso basics right now. Let's jump into our English C4D. And I apologize for my French accent because I'm from Paris and I have a very strong accent. So I hope you will understand everything. I will disable my head and I wish you a Merry Christmas if you see this video now. So I will just uh, show you a few basics. The first thing that you learn in Expresso is um, the expression set driver set driven. This is a really simple com concept, but it's, uh, it's a good way to start. But today we will go a bit uh, more far so i will have to cube and the main idea is that you can lead one parameter with another so i will drive uh, for example my size um, my rotation with the size of another cube so i will set this parameter as a driver and i will just go on my cube let's take for example the rotation let's click animation uh, expression and set driver driven we have absolute and relative absolute takes the other same value and relative will be relative to the other value so in our case we will choose relative right now if i uh, scale up my object i have a rotation This is the most basic thing. You can imagine uh, it doing with a sphere and a torus, for example. Really simple. I want to parent my radius set driver. Just go there, set driven relative. As simple as that. But what what's going on when I do this? I have something really simple happening. I have my torus, a range mapper, which is a nice node that can convert some values and my sphere. It's really simple to uh, manage an Expresso. So let's jump. How to add Expresso? You need to have any object and you can right click Cinema 4D tag and you will have an Expresso. How to add an object into Expresso? You can find it under your Higgs pool. You can find it by right clicking. And you can just drag and drop objects. You want to add 
some perpetual rotation to your sphere. Let's decrease the segments to have um, a better view of what's going on. So this is not a sphere, but we will uh, see what's going on in terms of rotation. I take my parameters, for example, I want to add rotation. I just drag and drop it. This is input, output, as simple as that. I want to add a time expression, right click, new node, expresso, general, time. That's amazing. Now I've added a perpetual rotation to my uh, strange sphere. How oh, I can control this? Really simple, really, really simple. I can add a node called mass that you have in Expresso, calculate, and I will take mass and I can do few operations with it. I can and subtract, multiply, divide, or modulo. I will take mod multiply because it's nice. I can add sliders. When you multiply something by zero, it's going to be zero. When you are in addition, if you have one plus something, it's always going to have one. So this is not what we want. We want to multiply. I will take this this and now I need to have a slider to control this and now I will be able to add my own tabs on my object with user data this is not witchery this is cinema 4d okay uh, let's add uh, let's go to manage user data and let's add a new group and we will put a uh, put out this group and call it perp, perpetual rotation. Now I have perpetual rotation as a new tab. That's great. I can add another group and call it, for example, just to show you how it works, color. Let's click OK. And now I have color, a new tab. So all I had sliders in there really simple let's go to manage user data perpetual rotation add data and now i will be able to add a lot of controllers i can add a gradient i can add a button i can add float value i can add a color really nice i will go to float and I will go to um, a real number. So it's going to be from zero to another number, including uh, the number with, uh, I don't remember the English word, virgule, comma, fuck. So let's go to zero to 10 and let's change the interface. Here I have my float value, but I can go with a float si slider. Amazing, I can add my value there and slide. If I click OK, I have my new slider there. And I want this slider to control the amount of my multiply and perpetual rotation. Let's jump there. Let's drag and drop our sphere as simple as this let's add or data i can give it give it a name by going manage user data and call it um word p for example if i if i'm with uh if i want to control p let's drag and drop it let's connect it and right now i have a new tab with a slider to control my perpetual rotation. I can add more things. Let's go to manage user data. Let's go to add data. For example, let's add root B interface float slider. Let's take it to a real 
let's take the max to 10 let's say okay let's go back you know expressor let's add root b let's duplicate on max it in control and drag and drop it right now i making my in and output let's go there let's add b looks okay and now with my two sliders i can control b and p without any key and i can key it now really really nice to do animation expresso can be very useful but because you can do a lot of things you can have some action like x particle action reaction you can have uh, collision uh, reaction you can having uh, things with uh, your object you can do thing with a track that you, you can lead different tr animation track with only one track it's very powerful this tutorial was my basics of expresso and i hope it will lead you to other tutorials uh, i was uh, very afraid of expresso before and now that i've jumped into it uh, i just want to show you that it's simple and the few tutorials that i found are too complicated to jump into it people are i i didn't find it cool so i i just want to make my own tutorial hoping that that these few things will lead you to learn espresso by yourself so feel free to join us on instagram or facebook group facebook page with a great animation or instagram where you have always great artists to discover every time just check it you have the page where it's come from really nice animation you can subscribe to our channel to have french and english tutorial and we also have a vimeo with a great great uh, films you can send your own films if you want to be featured and you can also use the hashtag md community on instagram and i will repost sometime uh, the most beautiful and the most innovative image i hope you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, really short expresso basics uh, tutorial it's not really a tutorial but it's um, like a friend me show you how it works and now you have the will to learn expresso and the idea is not to wait uh, to me uh, to make new videos the idea is now you you want to learn expresso and now you will find by yourself and I, I, I work like this. I, I need to have one video that uh, give me uh, the will to learn something and then I will learn it. It's like Substance uh, Designer, Substance Painter. I've waited a long time before jumping into it and when I jumped into it, I was very happy. But I, it's hard to find one video that gives you the this, uh, this thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to share your renders, share your expresso tips. And you have a, a lot of great tutorial channel on YouTube to learn expresso. I think you have uh, um, Merck Wilson tutorials. You have a few tutorials by A Design. You have Grayscale Gorilla. You have a lot of place to learn. So, keep learning, guys, and see you next time.